somewhere under here. Somewhere under here is the A456 at Newnham Bridge in Worcestershire. The village was cut in two as the River Team burst its banks. Some homes were flooded, others had a narrow escape. It was all here, and then it went right up to the front door. So we were about two, three inches away from the front door flooding. This was all covered in water, and it was still raining at the time. Her partner's 4x4 wasn't so lucky. Nor was this brand new car pulled from the floodwaters. Now a write off. Lived in the Lemster area for 50 years and never seen anything like this. The torrential downpours turned streams into raging torrents, farmland into rivers. The fire service had a busy night. Crews rescued 10 people in Shropshire. They also used boats to reach a couple stranded in this house near Bewdley. The floodwater mark still clearly visible. Neighbours say they've never seen the local brook so high. It's been up a few times, uh, but it's never been up above the banks. Um, this is the highest I've ever seen it. Residents in Tenbury Wells looked on nervously as water levels rose. Businesses and shops prepared for the worst, although some were treating it as a spectator sport. The town of Tenbury Wells seems to have escaped unscathed. At their height, the floodwaters reached to the top step here, but as you can see, they're now receding. Within probably 30, 40 centimetres, then it would start going down the high street here at Tembury. And once it does overtop, then the water, you know, can go a long, a long way. So we were monitoring it very closely. The deluge hit Northamptonshire as well. This fun fair in Wellingborough was a total washout. The floods also put pace to an English heritage event at Kelmarsh Hall. Visitors who'd bought tickets for the Festival of History will be able to get a full refund. Peter Bien, Central News.